what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, L N M. Back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. So, who's ready for a seance? Me neither. But we're going to do this though tonight. <laughs> so, listen, before we get to the video, y'all know, let's go ahead and make sure you got your doors locked, windows locked, everything, especially for this video tonight. Make sure everything is sealed. Can nobody just walk in, bust in on you or nothing like that, all right? So the video is, uh, let me shout out the channel first, man. Shout outs to Mind CTV, all right? This is a seance gone wrong. Very scary paranormal activity caught on camera, 3 a.m., all right? It says when you reach out to the other side. I'm not trying to reach, but I don't mind watching somebody else reach, all right? So we're going to check this video out, man, and brace yourselves, all right? Brace yourselves for this, all right? Now, before we get to the video, though, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the fam. Once you do that, we just need you to do a couple things. That's it. Just a few things. First, moment of silence for the haters. That's enough. And second, make sure you... Run the likes up, baby. Make sure you hit that like button. Up in the mountains of Pennsylvania lies an old abandoned coal factory that used to serve as a party spot for teenagers and drug dealers late at night. Kids would get together here, get wasted, spray paint walls and light bonfires until one day a boy was found hung from the rafters inside of the building. After these events transpired, kids felt nervous being out there at night. Local paranormal teams started to investigate the building for signs of activity. One member of the team was able to join us for a live interview which you'll see in just a moment. What was once a party spot for teenagers quickly became an eerie building where people were going to conduct seances, witchcraft, and there were rumors of devil worship and possibly a trapped soul who couldn't move on after a heartbreak. Tonight, Steve and I will be exploring the building and trying to make communication. Bob. I'm from Scranton, Pennsylvania, and I'm 27, and I'm here to tell you about my experience that I had at the Moffitt Coal Company building. A few years back, some friends of mine and I were having some drinks, hanging out, and one of my friends told me that the property was haunted. So we decided to come back the following night, and we went out and bought two white candles that represent peace, and one blue candle that represents the spirit side, and we decided to perform a seance. My friend Kevin was leading the seance, um, trying to invoke spirits, saying things like, you know, if there's anyone here with us, can you please give us a sign? We did that for about a half an hour and didn't have any results. And as he leaned in to blow out the candles at the end of the seance, he blew out the two white candles and then he leaned in to blow out the blue candle and it shattered in his face. And we don't know why, and I didn't feel my feet move, but Kevin ended up under my foot on the ground laying down and I asked him I said how did you get on the ground he said I don't know why is your foot on top of me I said I don't know I didn't move honestly I can say that that was the scariest situation trying to touch the other side that I've ever had and I've never had an experience well he blew out the white candles didn't that mean peace he should have left those and carried those I wanted you to know I I come uh uh what, how, how would you say that? I want you to know, I mean, I, I want peace the entire time I'm here and when I'm leaving. So those two candles are staying lit the entire time, even as I'm backing out of the place, bro. No, he shouldn't have blew them candles out. Experience like that. My friends and I, we used to do this for fun, but after this experience, it was no longer fun. It was too scary, and I'm not willing to try to invoke the other side again. Isn't it strange how you're going there with the peace on everything? It's like, and you still end up catching the wrong stuff. Absolutely. You know I mean? like when you, it's, it's when you enter stuff. into that state and try to touch the other side, you never know what's going to come back and find you. 
he had a hard time explaining it himself. So it's not like a thing where it's like yeah, he didn't. It say, didn't like, make any sense. He didn't say you know what I mean? like my friend teleported under me. No, he, he just, said he just he blew the candle out, the glass broke, and then his friend was underneath his foot. Bob's story to me was very believable because he has nothing to lose. I mean, he, he did this a long time ago. It was just a genuine. Here's what happened. Yeah, you know, which is weird because he says I never, and I didn't lift my foot, and I really do believe him because like this is a long time ago he did this stuff. So it's not like. He's doing it to try to like build up his, you know, his uh, paranormal group, whatever. Like he's right. done with this stuff. Hello. Dude, is it built out of damn trees? There was the back of it with a truck with some scene lights on it, bro. I'd have, I'd have had that whole place lit up. Ain't no way I'm going out there with just flashlights. Yo, look at that shit. That shit there looks like a rope or some shit. I mean, I'm not gonna make any call outs and be like, oh, that's the news from it. But it's kind of weird that there's like a, a bigger rope, rope hanging there. I already swept this whole room out here and got nothing. And as you can see, I'm green out here. Yeah. Steve, let's go back to that room. I definitely felt the presence in there. Is this where you want us to hang out and communicate with you? In this room? Please don't leave. I know I left the room a minute ago, but we want to have conversations. We want to communicate with you. Can you give me a signal that this is the spot you want to be at with us? I see the green. Can you make it go to yellow? Good. These things typically don't go off on their own. It needs to be near some source of electricity. And when it does start fluctuating, you know that there's an energy present making that light move. We'll communicate with you here. I think we got a clear answer. I think so. Okay, we will be making contact with you we'll right here. We'll find a way to let you get whatever message you have to us or your family or whoever. Are you in any kind of pain right now? I see yellow. Let's do this. Move it to yellow if you're in any kind of pain. Move it to green if not. If if yes, yellow. Green, no. I saw green. I see green. green again. Okay. So you're not in pain. That's good to know. Do you have any regrets? Are there any regrets of what happened to you or what you did to yourself? Would you like to contact us? Would you like to make communication with us? So we're at See, now this is where I would imagine it gets crazy, bro. Circle of salt. See, I, whatever y'all about to do with some, like, this is where I think it's going to get crazy for y'all. Actually in the spot right now that Bob told us about. He said, once you come into the main building, that doorway right here where we just got all that EMF activity is where he said they had their seance and we're going to recreate it right here. Personally, I've never done a seance before. I've never performed any kind of ritual to call spirits upon us. We wanted to imitate exactly what Bob had done with his team because we wanted to encounter or experience the same thing that they had experienced. First, what he said to do was make sure that we have a circle of salt. I'm gonna make a circle and then we're gonna light up these candles. All right, here we go guys. I don't know why I just felt like it just got real. As soon as I seen that circle of salt, I was like, yo, in my mind, I'm like, it just got real. As you know, Ouija boards are not my favorite, so it goes hand in hand with seance, probably aren't my favorite thing either. Now that we have this circle laid out, a welcome to any dark spirits who are here with us. Can you please show yourselves to us in some way, shape, or form? Whether it be blowing out the candles, whether it be moving that EMF detector, or even touching us. I am actually giving permission to touch if you're present with us. If there are any spirits in the area, can you see the light? We are open to communication. If you'd like to have a message to your family, to your friends, to us, we invite you inside of the circle. All right, now there is one part that we didn't mention to the viewers. Uh, Bob said to us when he was explaining this whole thing, while they were in the circle, mm -hmm. they were all joining hands. Trust me, I know. <laughs> yeah. I know, guys. Just for shits and giggles sake. All right, ready? All right. One time. 
if there are any spirits here with us, we are giving you 100% permission to enter our realm right now and make communication with us. Please show yourselves in some way, shape, or form. I think we've given him permission. I think we've done everything he said. Yeah. <laughs> if nothing happens from this point on. And this doorway is where I feel the most activity. Yeah. So I say maybe we set up a spirit box right here. Okay. He's coming. Whatever you are, you're strong enough to push Bob along with some girls. Push us. Break these candles. Do something to us. I'm hearing something here. Yeah, I'm hearing something, but I can't make it out. Are you upset that we're here right now? If somebody here, we command you to say something through the speaker. That's not pretty good. Say bitch. <laughs> I heard it say bitch. Yo, did you we, hear that? We ain't no. That's a sign of frustration. It's good to know they get frustrated in the, in the other in the other world. Yo, bitch. If we're a bitch, do something to us. What is your name? Tell us your name. Make it clear. Is there anything you want to tell us? Can you give us a sign that you're here or do something and show us that you're here? You were able to break a glass. Do something to us, unless you're afraid of us. I mean, there was movement with Bob. Give us a sign, show us you're here. What the fuck is that, dude? You heard that, right? Yeah. Now at this moment in time, I did not hear it in person, but looking at the tape, it sounded like a voice said, he's coming. That sounded like a rock. Hold on. Leave that running. There's no pick anything up. We couldn't actually tell what it was over the spirit box, but there was definitely something that sounded like a branch snapping or a rock hitting a wall. It definitely sounded like it was back in here. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the uh, thermal while you're doing that. All right, yeah, yeah, grab the thermal. Oh, there's something in the corner. There's one. Where? Over in the back right corner. Let me back, look at yours. Yeah, back that way. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's it's not. It's in my flashlight. You still see it? Yeah. <laughs> there's something in the thermal, dude. I'm looking at it with my flashlight, looking around the room. There's nothing there, and somehow that thermal was picking up an apparition. It's it's hot. Dude, Dude there's, there's, a, there's some moving. hot on here. Yeah, it's moving. Look, 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 look it's moving. What the yeah, fuck, bro? Dude, this is not fucking crazy, is it? No, there's nobody there. There's nothing here. Nothing. to rationalize it you know maybe it was a person that just happened to miss every single tree branch out there I, I don't know but something was on it but it didn't like evaporate to where you was like okay it could have been some steam something over there that just kind of no bro it moved away explain that oh, that was hot maybe that was something on here oh. for real yeah I know I know like I, I don't know what it was but something was on this thermal camera. I've already swept the place more than one time. Nothing should be hot besides occasionally the walls. Yeah. And it was by the damn window. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you can yeah. see where yeah. like the yeah. heat in the, in the window yeah. cold, like yeah. those white black, those yeah. blue black spots. Yep. There was something hot in that spot. And then it was in a different spot. Yeah, that's crazy shit, dude. And you had the camera on, you had it recording, have, right? I have the camera. You were recording the thermal? Yes. Okay, good, good. Plus I feel like if it was someone on, if it was a person, yeah. I would hear their damn feet at this point. Steve and I were walking around the building trying to see if we could pick it up again, and I felt a burning on my side. Just check me. Come on. Let me, 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 let
do something on me? Mm. Is there a spider or something biting me? Dude, I'm getting light. Yes, you have scratches going from here to here. It felt like something bit me. You know when fuck around with this stuff with you. I can't see it. Hold on. Now, obviously, we didn't see his side before the video start started or, or before this. So... If this did happen like that, then bro, I would be freaked out right now because like just because you don't get contact when you first do something like when they was holding hands in the middle of the salt circle and doing a seance and stuff like that, just because you didn't get contact then doesn't mean you're not going to get contact, bro. And then my thing is always, okay, how do you get them to go back? Okay, we're done. Everything is over. Go back to where you came from. It's like once that door is open, it's open. It looks like three or four scratches. You weren't, you weren't playing around, were you? No, I didn't walk through any branches. I didn't walk by any bushes. Man. Is it burning? What's it feel like? Yeah, it's burning. Mine wasn't yeah. hot, but that, 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 looks, that looks worse. It looks like it's a long scratch. And it looks fresh. I didn't want to participate anymore. I mean, there's a fine line between paranormal investigations and we're actually in danger. You got that thermal shit. Was it right after the thermal thing? It was during the thermal thing when it started burning. No shit. Dude, let's go. Let's get pictures of it, yeah. I'm ready to All go. Right. The reason we wrapped up, obviously, is when you get those scratches, your mood changes. When that happens, your mind's racing. You don't know what it means. So it's, it's a good time to be like, hey, let's get out of here. Let's recoup. Let's figure out what happened. And let's get them again next time. I didn't want to communicate anymore. I didn't want nothing. Ain't no next time. That's it for me, bro. You know, I got webs to prove it. No, I'm done. I wanted to pack up my cameras and go. I didn't walk by any branches. I mean, I know there's a lot of trees out there, but I was standing right next to you the whole time. Yeah. You know, when you were recording the thermal, I was right next to you. Well, that's what they call personal experience, and you know, you learn to live with it. You know what I mean? Just like I did. I mean, it happens. You're gonna believe it or not. It doesn't matter. It happened. On the ride home, I think I was just trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together. I was going through everything that had happened throughout the course of the night in my mind. I gave permission to touch during the seance. Yeah. I don't like being yeah. touch. You sure did. You gave permission to touch. That's where you went wrong at. Man, I don't like that. And you know what? You know what? Now that I think back about it, it kind of like makes me a little nervous. When we were doing the seance, yeah. to yeah, even yeah, touch, yeah. if you want to touch, I give you permission. I gave permission. Like we're always talking. We're always like telling. Ooh, that gives me goosebumps. No, that gives me that gives me goosebumps yeah. right now. Like I have goosebumps all over my body, yeah. thinking that I actually said, "I give you permission to touch." I think it's one of those times you should be like, disclaimer: don't do what we're doing because it's not for everybody. It's not for everyone, and you don't know what you're inviting in. When I was scratched at Penhurst. As I was in the video, you're gonna believe it or you're not. I know what happened. I don't care if no one believes me or not. I know what happened. So in case you said he got scratched, I know what happened. Do I think that this place is haunted? And the answer would be yes, I do. Uh, this was enough for Bob to actually quit. My friends and I, we used to do this for fun, but after this experience, it was no longer fun. It was too scary, and I'm not willing to try to invoke the other side again. Me and Steve need to get out of there as quickly as possible, and we got evidence on camera that would definitely signify that this place is haunted. Yo, something's there, and something is extremely, extremely pissed off, right? Like, they're extremely pissed off, bro. Or whatever they're trying to tell people, like they're trying to get their message across, or whatever it is, fam. But uh, I don't know. I hope they go back so we can check it out. <laughs> Listen at me. I hope they go back. Yeah, I ain't going out there. <laughs> but I want to see, like... Like, I don't know. I want to I want to see some more of that. Um, they, they got me intrigued. All right. But uh, y'all get at me. In it. Have y'all ever done any seances? Let me know. And if you did, what was the outcome? Was it crazy or was it just some just some BS? <laughs> Point blank. Let me know in the comment section. All right. It's your boy L. Until the next reaction. I'm out. Peace. Y'all stay solid. Hey.